Hi, it's the Boffin again, and it's mailbag time. Now, this is our first mailbag on this channel, so I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but I have a pretty good idea. So let's have a look inside. And it's exactly what I thought. It's an Opus BT3100 battery charger. I got this after doing my shaver repair video. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to actually grade some of the batteries as opposed to the very low-tech way I'd done of charging them up and discharging them and seeing what they look like. Supposedly supports NICAD, nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, all sorts of different sizes, double A, triple A, single A. It was about $30 US, if memory serves me right. Nice little charger. You see a lot of people using these online. Battery pack, complete with the correct plug, which is always nice. Now, I know the Europeans are going to tell me how shite the uh, North American 15-amp NEMA plug is, and they're right, but not much I can do about it. Comes with an instruction book. The instruction book is uh, at least in English. Just English, actually quite a bit of information here. So let's uh, plug this in, get the knife out of the way and uh, see how it works. Twelve volt, three amp adapter. Plug that in. And uh, let's try a couple of nickel metal hydrides, or a couple of lithium ions, I should say. These are actually harvested out of an uh, old laptop I had. I thought I'd uh, do some clever things and try harvesting them, and what did I do? I just managed to slice my finger right open. So if you're going to do that, be careful. Looks like both of these, it's been recognized. They're uh, 3.86 volts. It's putting charge in them. Shows how long it's run for. Looks pretty good. Not sure what the mode button does. Have to do some reading there. Oh, we can swap between... Oh, okay, we can change the current. Oh, well, let's uh, try a couple of nickel metal hydrides in here as well. We'll get this going, and we'll get back to it in a few hours and see how it worked out. Thanks for watching for now. Hi, we're back looking at the charger, and I'm pretty impressed with this thing. It charged up the two nickel metal hydrides uh, in about an hour. We'll have a look at that in a moment. It's still putting power into the two uh, lithium ions. But it's done something interesting, which I didn't expect. So it charged these up in 53 minutes. It said it's had an hour and, fifth, hour and 19 minutes so far on the uh, lithium ions. But the interesting thing is, I had changed the charge start current on these after the video had stopped. I bumped it up to a, an amp. It's now dropped those volta those currents down to 200 to 300 milliamps, which is the way you're supposed to charge lithium ions. You're supposed to charge them with constant current first to a certain voltage, and then up to a certain voltage or up, uh, up at a constant voltage after that. So. I'm pretty impressed. This has uh, done the right thing. It's showing these two batteries at 1.34 volts. It's showing these at 4.1817. Uh, it put, like I say, 400 something milliamp hours into the two nickel metal hydrides. And it's put a little over an amp hour into each of the uh, lithium ions. So I'm gonna let this run until it's completely charged. And then we'll try a discharge test on this. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. 
Well, I let this run overnight and we've got some numbers on it. For the nickel metal hydrides, it's showing 343 and 533. Those numbers are way too low. I think the cutoff voltage must be too high on these uh, uh, on this measurement. I know that these batteries have about 12 or 1400 milliamp hours in them. So I'm not really that interested in using it for classifying nickel metal hydrides. However, for the lithium ions, it shows the numbers of 2561, which is pretty close to what the rated capacity of these batteries is at 2600. Uh, that's close enough for my uh, use. And overall, this battery charger is pretty good. Uh, charges a wide range of batteries, does some discharge testing, different uh, current ranges, has a little fan in it that's used both during charging and during discharging, which is not too loud. Overall, I think this was $30 well spent, and I'd give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, and we'll be back with more things like this in the future.